you. Let's welcome to the show Virginia Attorney General Jason Meares. It's good to have you on, sir. Thanks for joining us. So the schools are saying this is not true. You opened a civil rights investigation into this. Why did you do that? And do you believe the, the school is saying it's not true? Well, I mean, this is what we know. We know that Fairfax Public School Superintendent Michelle Reed hired an equity consultant, paid this person $455,000 for about nine months of work. One of their recommendations was equal outcomes for every student without exceptions. That was the equity consultant's recommendation. And they further said to get to these equal outcomes, it may mean that you have to treat some students unequally. Uh, my office first became aware of the disparity at Thomas Jefferson High School. It's a magnet school. It's considered the best high school in the country. And we saw they adopted a new equity admissions policy you have to apply to attend. And we saw about a 20-point drop at this uh, uh, public high school admissions of Asian American student in just one year. So we started hearing from Asian American parents saying our child's being discriminated against. And then you layer on top of that uh, this story about the National Merit Award. And what this is, is over 70 percent by our calculation of the recipients of this National Merit Award recognition were Asian American students. And so we have a state statute in Virginia, the Virginia Human Rights Act, and the purpose is to uh, be able to empower my office to investigate any civil rights. No one should be denied their dream uh, to attend Thomas Jefferson High School or receive recognition simply because of who they are. And so that's why we're investigating this is we know what this equity consultant advised the school district. We want to see if this disproportionately impacted our Asian American student population in, okay. in Fairfax and now some of these other localities. Understood. The Washington Post is saying, op ed, that this is potential civil rights violations of these children. I mean, parents are reportedly trapped in paying higher school tuition costs because the students did not get their scholarship money for college. Let's listen to L Virginia Lieutenant Governor Winsome Earl Sears with us last night, where they're talking now 17 schools, 1,000 students involved here. Let's watch this. And here we have schools that are withholding information that are crucial to a child's success. We're talking about free tuition. We're talking about recognizing achievement. My God, when did that become controversial? I'm just in shock. You're waiting for the next shoe to drop. What is wrong with these schools? What is wrong with these school boards? It blows your mind. These rogue educators, they've gone off their rocker. Let me just say it that way, because I don't know what else to call it. And I'm telling you that these people should be fired. Don't apologize. Just go. You have done a wrong thing. You've wronged my child. I can't get that back. But you already have your education and you're denying my child that ability. We're not standing for it. If you find wrongdoing, will you fire them or get the, have them fired? <laughs> That's not something I have the authority to do. What I have the authority to do is, as a lawyer for the Commonwealth, my civil rights department is the one tasked by the law to do both investigate. If they're violating their civil rights, I inform them that and say, listen, these are the policies you're doing that are in violation of our state uh, anti-discrimination uh, statute. Change them or else. If they refuse that, then we go to court to get the court to order them to do so. That is the, that is the proper procedure. But what is so uh, tragic about all this is you hear this word equity all the time, but equity without excellence is emptiness. And they have this policy in place. What breaks my heart is so many of these students, they're first generation Americans. They live in households where English not even the primary language spoken at home. And education is the doorway to the American dream. It's been denied them. We know of at least one Virginia school that gives free tuition if you're a National Merit Award recipient. Um, that is worth over $90,000 in free tuition. And I can tell you, as somebody who worked all four years through college, how are you going to pay for college can yeah. be more stressful than how you get to get into college. And it's tragic that these students who worked so hard weren't properly recognized. And as far as Thomas Jefferson High School, we're trying to understand whether they were purposely discriminating against Asian American applicants. Got it. Important points you're making here, sir. And we'll have you back on again soon. Virginia Attorney General Jason Meares, thanks for spending time with us this Friday night. It's good to see you. Have a good Thank weekend. You.